Hello folks, this is Dr. Mughal here. Uh, welcome to pre-lab number three. Uh, in this uh, short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to drive the logic expression for seven segment display, uh, which you will be needing for uh, lab number three. Uh, and uh, following the same pattern, you can also find the expression for one bit full error and also the overflow detection. So, uh, moving on to the uh, pre lab, so we have a seven segment uh, display uh, on your basis three board. Remember that is active low, meaning when the bit is zero, that is when the uh the that segment of the display is going to turn on so say uh for zero you need to turn on a b c d e and f so therefore a b c d e and f needs to set to zero whereas g segment needs to be uh, set to one uh, so we're going to start off uh, this using logism and we are going to create uh, a truth table first. So I go to project and I click, uh, choose analyze circuit. Um, and I click OK. And I'm going to um, computing the truth table of expression. I'll just go ahead and make a new file here. Uh, and then I go here and choose analyze circuit uh, which will bring me to this window here I'm going to put all my um, inputs D3 this is going to be my most significant bit uh, D2 D1 uh, D0 this is my least significant bit uh, my outputs I got uh, uh, seven segments so I got seven outputs A uh, B C, D, E, F, and uh, C, D, uh, E, F, and G. So, which will take me to this truth table. Now, uh, remember here, uh, I'm going to bring that pre lab right here and my logism right here so uh, like I was saying here uh, earlier that in order to display zero we need to have a b c d e and f segments set to zero g to one uh, because we don't want that segment to turn on so one would be off and zero will be on okay uh, similarly f zero zero is one uh, makes a code of one in order to display one on the segment seven segment we need B and C to be on so B and C are going to be on rest of the segments are going to be off okay like uh, say you want to do seven so segment a B and C are going to be on for zero triple one that makes a binary code of seven a B C needs to be on so those are going to be zero and rest of them are going to be one um, say you want to display F on your seven segment so that would mean B C and D needs to be off so that means B C and D needs to be off so those would be one rest of the other segments are going to be on so we actually set to zero if you want to display eight that means all the segments needs to be turned on one triple zero makes a binary code of eight. So all segment needs to be turned on. Okay. Um, so we are going to do that for all of these right here. So now that I have actually uh, finished uh, my truth table, I have entered all the logics for all the combinations from zero to F. Uh, it's about time for me to get the expression for each of the uh, uh, segments. So if I go to the, if I hit the expression tab, here is my expression for A. And what I could do over here, I can just copy this whole thing. Uh, you can go, then go to your pre-lab, and then you can just paste it over here. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, now remember, we're going to have to insert the end operator between each of these terms, uh, these variables. And we are going to uh, replace the plus sign with a vertical line, which is the OR gate. Here we need an end operator here. Again, we need an end operator here. Uh, and again, there's a, it's going to be an end operator here. Uh, remember, these are the very log expressions for segment A. Um, end operator here, end operator here, end operator here. Plus sign is going to replace with this vertical line. And then also need an end operator here. And now let me just finish this real quick. And then semicolon line to finish the line. Um, so this is my expression. Very long expression um, for segment A of the seven segment display. Uh, also, if you go to the same window here again, I can choose B, and similarly, it would show me the display for B and so on. So, I'll just go ahead and copy paste for let's say I want to pick G. So I'll just copy this field from here, go back to your pre-lab, and then just paste it over here. Again, don't forget to insert the end operators here. Uh, replace the plus with this vertical line. End operator here also. Here. You don't necessarily have to give space, but I just like to give space so it's easier for me to troubleshoot if there's a if I have made an error. So here is the expression for the segment G. And similarly, you do it for B, C, D, E, and F. The good thing about the um, uh, logism, it actually gives you the minimized expression. Uh, so you don't have to do any further expression. And here uh, it also shows you the, um, the K map for it. Okay. Now that I have the truth table complete, I'm going to build the circuit. Uh, and I'm just going to use the not regular input gates yes and that this is where my circuit is uh, now uh, you are going to do the waveform uh, simulation in your lab but there's a, also a way in logism to verify whether you have the right connections or not so I'm just gonna uh, pull the seven segment here and I was looking at the data sheet from logism right here so notice that your segment A is connecting to this dot which is right here so I'm just going to make connection uh, uh, this segment right here which is B is connected to this dot right here so I take this okay alright uh, this segment right here is C which is connected to this dot right here so this dot right here and I'm going to connect it to C okay uh, this dot right here is connected to segment D so segment D is right here D. and then this dot right here is connected to segment E so let's uh, connect this wire to segment E it's a huge circuit it's a massive circuit uh, make sure your uh, wires are properly connected uh, and then this is our F segment which is connected to this dot right here so I'm gonna pull it from here and connect this wire to this dot right here which is this right here and then this dot right here is connected to G segment so I'll just make another wire and drag it all the way down to the very bottom because that is where my G is uh, and then hopefully I should be able to verify 
putting logic through my inputs and should be able to see numbers in a this on a son of seven segment display okay now that I have made all the connection I don't need a decimal point so I'm just gonna leave it uh, blank um, also because this is active low so I need to go in here and choose no here because it's not active high so notice now um, I got all the inputs set to zero and it's displaying zero 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 one makes a code of one zero one zero makes a code of two zero one one makes a code of three one double zero makes a code of four one zero one makes a code of five one one zero makes a code of six triple one makes a code of seven one triple zero makes a code of eight one zero zero one makes a code of nine one zero one zero makes a code of a one zero one one makes a code of b uh one one zero zero makes a code of d one one zero one makes a code of uh c one one makes zero one makes a code of d triple one zero makes a code of e and double one double one makes a code of f so uh, I'm pretty certain that the expressions that I got here for A, B, C, D, E, and F, and G are absolutely right. And all I, you need to do is copy all those expressions, put it in here, and put it in a very log file, uh, run it, synthesize it, and implement it. Uh, that's pretty much it from uh, this presentation. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you get this part done before you come to the lab. And it's going to help you, uh, you know, get the lab done real quick. Uh, thank you for watching.